In this video, we'll look at how to prevent division by zero. From the previous program, our division was very basic. It didn't consider giving error messages if the user tried to divide by zero. So let me show you how that looked like. If I said four divide by zero, and I'm getting really strange results. So we want this to accommodate for such um, action from the user. So what we can actually do, we can do a test. We can say if num underscore two is not equal to zero, then in that case, do return this value. But because the um, this function actually returns returns um, a double, I might want to return something like return zero. And yeah, so let's have a look at how this works. So if I say, um, yeah, I don't know why I'm insisting on four. Um, I get result is equal to zero. That's because the return value here was zero. So I want to make a few changes to improve this. I might want to change how, um, yeah, I might change how this <clears throat> returns, maybe a flag. Uh, if the return is successful, Um, indicate uh, a success, so I'll return one. And if I am indicating <coughs> a fail, then I'm returning a zero. So, yeah, but now we can't do this part here. We actually need to preserve the, um, the result. So what we can do is we can pass a pointer um, as a double, we call it result so that we can keep track of the result. And then what we can do is um, store the result of the division in the memory location that's pointed to by result. That's pretty much what we have. So this is a pointer that's pointing to some memory location. And here we are storing the result of the division in the memory location that's pointed to by result. Okay, so this also means I would have to pass result or we would have to pass result. So let's declare result and, um, and, and pass it in here. So it needs to be passed in. The address needs to be passed in as, and I spelt it wrong, as a third argument. Okay, now what this we this returns an integer that is either 0 or 1 indicate 1 indicated to success and 0. So basically we're saying true or false. So I'm just going to put them like true and false. So we want to capture this result um, and we will put this into a a function. So if the call to this function is true, then we print out the result. That's what we are doing. And we keep we keep this part because the result is also a double. And I'll just um, print out the result here. Uh, else, let's have an else. So let's just sort of print out a friendly message to the user let them know what happened. In the case where this comes back as zero, which means false, we want to tell the user that um, they um, cannot divide by zero. Uh, we, we can say error just to let them know that there's a problem and we can define what the error is. Yeah, let's just compile and, and I just want to make sure I haven't made any silly mistakes on the way. Let's run it and let's try a normal, uh, sorry, a division by zero. So we get a nicer message from the user. And let's uh, try a normal, a normal um, division just because we made changes to the way the function works. So we need to also go back and check that the what previously was working is still working as expected and it and it does so this is one way of dealing with uh, division by zero i hope it was helpful helpful to you and i'll see you in the next ones thank you